Hi Libra, welcome to your Mead Month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Libra. Overall, in this uh, mid-month of August, I feel that you are trying quite a lot to fight against your sorrows, your sadness, your apathy, your sense of feeling unfulfilled or feeling that there's something lacking, there's something missing, but I feel you are overall, as time progresses, you are doing your best as a sunflower to push yourself towards the direction of the sun and the light so you can, even if temporary, temporarily, even if in a couple of hours, go out, be out enjoying the summer, enjoying your friends, enjoying that good dinner, enjoying a movie, enjoying a song, trying to do your best to still be out there and still feel life and be fulfilled with the sunny side of life. I also feel there's good, um, good uh, situations in terms of uh, your social life, your friends that could really help you uh, find back a sense of um, of support in something that you have been uh, a little bit out of balance, I feel. There's a great chance in this mid-month to encounter good reasons to celebrate life. As a reminder to yourself that regardless of parties, regardless of good news regardless of love um, having a love partnerships or your um, relationships with friends family and loved ones going the way you want regardless of being financially uh, abundant or not having success in your job or not regardless of all of that there is always a reason to celebrate life the moment you are alive and you are having this unique temporary experience to do so, to see things, to experience things, to um, taste things that you don't know if you will ever get that chance again. And I think that that realization is gradually coming back to you, finding beautiful uh, not distractions, that's the only danger, but we'll go there. But finding beautiful uh, things that are coming from within your soul as well, uh, as a reflection to the way you are looking at things outside of you. Finding back joy as well in simple pleasures, in um, feeling grateful for the fact that you have these good friends or you have the opportunity to spend time with people that are meaningful for you or you have uh, still uh, time and health and av availability in a lot of ways to do things that again you don't know if you will have or if you will ever have the chance again to uh, experience and do the same in certain ways this mid month of August offers you chance to bloom even though I feel that this blooming, there's an element of, uh, it's like you do your best, you try, you go out, you are trying hard. And for that, you should validate your efforts and you should really, 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 really recognize the efforts you are making to do that. But I also feel that there's still uh, something lingering inside of you that makes this joy and the celebration of life um, wither and decay too easily and too fast, which is exactly the danger that I see here in this new month is for you to, when you are not doing things um, uh, in balancing ways, in ways that promote balance and, 
and the right amount of energy and dedication that you are giving towards everything. I feel that you you have here the risk in um, you have the risk of burning yourself out, which means you want to do things, do things, distract, 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 that you end up getting yourself exhausted, quite tired, and when you fall back into the reality of whichever circumstances you are not not happy with, it can be quite um, it can be quite da not damaging, but it's an experience that you are going through. But it can be quite difficult to find that balance between the positive outlook you are trying to have and the negative that still um, is present in your being, and also being acceptant of that. It's not about forcing yourself to have a positive outlook into things. You have to feel it with all of your being. It has to come from this inner vibration. I also feel that there's something you are... I don't know if it's hiding. There's something you don't want others to see in you, I feel. I feel that there's a, something that you're really trying your best for others not to not to see uh, in whichever you are trying to hide, which could be related with this inner unhappiness or restlessness or not feeling well. I feel you are putting too much of a mask as well or too much effort to hide. Be careful with that as well. Be careful with the means you are using, the ways you are using. Uh, make sure they are coming from truthful places. Because you also have here the justice as an advice, which is your card, quite interestingly enough. Is to find, to find righteousness within you. Which means finding your truth and owning it. Okay, you are not always happy. Among 24 hours a day, you have probably two hours where you feel great, three, hour, three hours where you don't know how you feel, and the left of it, you feel like crap. Okay, that's, that's okay, that's being human, that's a part of the press, process, that's part of who you are and the moment you are in right now. Why would you hide that from others to not worry others? To not make them uh, think something that you don't want them to think. Things that you have been putting too much of an effort to make them believe. Um, I feel that there's a lesson, important lesson here upon relationships of all kinds where you have to own your truth back. So justice and fairness and balance can be put back into your life between the amount of struggle, challenge, stress that we all go through and the amount of positivity, flow, movement, love, healing that it's happening where things are not so, I feel that with you things are so up and down, up and down, up and down that it's like too crazy, too hectic, too damaging for your sense of calm uh, feeling in terms of also savoring the moment, enjoying the moment you are in. So this three of cups in your main opportunity, it's very beautiful energy of being out there with your friends, with your loved ones, being at parties, weddings, feeling inspired by the love around, doing and having good talks, good moments, good conversation. Or just you simply finding back a place of enjoyment, of pleasure, indulgence even, into things that you have all the right to indulge at. Especially if you have been too much in a place of, um, not bitterness, but where you're not enjoying yourself, not enjoying life because of certain experiences you are going through. So, balance. Honesty, integrity, truth. Do not wear a mask. Because the moment you are wearing that mask, and even though it's... We all wear a mask and uh, we just need to be aware that 
for the true real connections that we want to have in our lives. If we don't take off that mask, if we don't own who we are, if we don't expose ourselves out of that fear of being vulnerable, of being not loved, not accepted for how we think, how we feel, how we are, regardless of whatever that state is, we will never find that intimate, raw, real, beautiful connection with other beings. We, we will always be uh, deceiving and deceived by relationships because we are not as well coming from genuine, authentic places. And I'm not saying that you do this consciously. I'm not saying that you do this. Some of you probably do. And it's time to reflect upon that. And I think that the fact that the more you are with people that you truly love, you will you will see as well and feel that you are as well truly loved for who you are and that there's no shame, there's no hiding that you should be going through because a level of non-acceptance that you have of your being or a level of rejection of something within you I really do feel that and then for others you are wanting to distract 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 do 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 go 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 to run to avoid those moments that when the fun naturally is like when the sun sets and you get uncomfortable with uh, the night of the soul that still exists here and so you may be doing too much, drinking too much, partying too much, uh, surrounding or going after shallow, superficial things too much, in do doing things on a level that are that is not promoting balance. And again, truth and acceptance to how you feel naturally. So I feel that this balance between understanding optimism optimism uh, uh optimistic view of life positive thinking positive vibration and as well the acceptance that, that this is a process this is a journey and honestly anybody that tells you that it's always about the positive it's not coming from an authentic place it's not we have to own our shadow and naturally as life unfolds no matter how mature how wise how old we are we'll, we will always have time of wounds coming to the surface we will always have time of lack of belief of lack of self-love of lack of hope but as the positive is temporary so the negative is and this is the constant dance of life in my opinion there's no one or the other, they are both coexisting. And the more we understand and realize that coexistence between what we see as evil and dark and non-attractive and the very attractive allure to the light, we find balance. I also feel there's a chance you could be uh, making important decisions or having important conversations upon Honestly, I feel upon things you need to confess or just uh, having more intimate um, conversations and intimate discussions in positive ways upon the truth that you are uncovering during this journey. So Libra, I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you who have been liking, sharing, subscribing. I really appreciate it and hopefully we'll see each other soon.